Hello YouTube. So right now I'm gonna do like an after the fact video, which is something I've already done, but I feel like it actually make a, an easy, simple, quick video. It might help actually a couple of people. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Basically put up a uh, wall mounted uh, entertainment stand. So I'll go into the quick nitty and gritty of how I was able to get this all done. And I believe it turned out quite well. So I'm gonna just go through the basics here. Uh, what you can see is conduits. This was an afterthought, like we got this entire, whenever we bought the house, we got the entire thing painted and only afterwards we thought we should have actually put conduits in the wall. And if we had thought of that, that's the way we would have done it. And that's the way I would recommend it. Basically, you cut a hole out in the wall, you drop a conduit down, and that's how you run all your wires and you wouldn't have any of these things here. But again, that was, after the fact so um, we had a normal TV stand until I was able to get everything together to uh, put this up so what you see here is just a simple wall mounted um, uh, TV bracket uh, so anyway the, the thing about that is you want to go directly into your stud when securing that for that I recommend a stud finder I wouldn't like, just use the simple tap method Put it on there. Um, oh, wait. oh, I took the batteries out of this. Anyway, um, so how this is gonna work, you're gonna press the button and it's gonna beep whenever you have a stud. Make a little mark, okay? Then you go from the other side. The beep whenever you have a stud, make a mark. They should be, you know, roughly an inch and a half, two inches wide, and then do it again lower and lower. Keep doing that, then draw a line. Okay, and that's your stud, and go in the center of all of those, okay? So even if it's not a perfect measurement, if you go in the center of all of those, and you've made that line and you go in the center of all of those, uh, you're going to end up uh, right in the center of the beam. So these are the conduit um, things, which I'll go into in a moment. So. Uh, get yourself uh, anchored into um, the uh, beams. Uh, you don't want to go directly into the head, like your uh, sheetrock will not hold a big TV like this. It could hold a smaller TV, but I would not make, this is a 16 inch TV. You wouldn't want to go in uh, just to the uh, drywall. You want to go into your stud. So anyway, uh, then it comes to this. My wife found this online. Megan, how much did you find this for? $100 yeah, this was $100 Canadian. Uh, we shopped around, we finally found one on Amazon. Now, this is uh, like follow the instructions in order how to put it together. Uh, if you find something like this, in order to mount it, okay, you're gonna see that there's a little gap right there. The reason why is that the mounting thing is literally just a long piece of metal that is kind of like a, an Z shape okay so the part that you're gonna put into the wall is the part that goes flat on the wall then it kind of comes out a little bit oh, how do we do that it's gonna come uh, come out a little bit and uh, the part that you put on here is gonna slip into that part anyway uh, you uh, the instructions go into it it's pretty simple and what I uh, what I did was I found out where all the studs were I lined up all the holes because the holes are but like uh, they're either 12 inches, 16 inches apart, sometimes 18 inches. But anyway, uh, the, the holes that are already pre-drilled into the metal parts are going to correspond with your studs. And uh, so um, mark off where your studs are gonna go. Make sure that all your holes line up with that. Then all the extra holes, that's where I put um, anchors. So you basically anchor in just like you would anchor like a picture frame or anything just to get it give it that added support then uh, this literally just boom, slips right into it like a sleeve and it's uh, like you can put some extra weight on there I've tested it out and because I don't want my kids playing under here and have it fall on them so anyway long story short that's pretty darn secure so as for these conduits you can see the wider ones are gonna hold the most amount of wires there's a ton of wires but it's all hidden so it's wonderful so that thing goes up there now 
this is mostly just for, um, this one right here is for the surround sound speakers, which I literally just uh, taped up with white electrical tape. So really, uh, it, it's not the best job, but it makes it so that it's not uh, such an eyesore. And then uh, I have little ones. This one, oh, that one right over there is uh, for the internet, power, and then telephone and internet. Um, this actually just hides all this big mess of cables. That's my power bar. I recommend if you're doing anything like this, get yourself a power bar with a surge protector because you don't want all your electronics to fry if you get your house gets struck by lightning. So anyway, that's how you hang it. Okay, those are pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you like just measure them on each side whenever you got everything else put up there. Make sure it looks good. Run a conduit, um, uh, whatever you want to call that, uh, tube, conduit tube. That's it. That's what I'm going to call it uh, from side to side. And again, when you step away, that's a clean look. Much cleaner than whenever I had just a, a TV stand, which was standing in the right place. But this couch could not sit like this because the TV stand was in the way. Uh, put, getting this up off the floor has actually allowed for a lot more walking space. This area has really opened up since we put this in. So anyway, the big part of it all is putting in these conduits, uh, which are super simple. Okay, so for the wide one, they drill in. Okay, you can even, like, you cut them. What I did was I used a Dremel with just a, a simple disc and I cut them. But you can cut them in so many different ways. If you really took your time, you can do it with an X-Acto knife. Uh, but anyway, this part uh, gets put on the wall. Make sure that that is horizontal. This part is what you need to uh, paint. I put three coats on there. I didn't even sand it. You could sand it. And then it just clips in place like that. Now you have two other ones which are uh, super simple as well. These ones don't um, I think this is a flat one which can hold a, a lot more cables. This is a circular one which can hold a couple of little little cables like you saw with my surround sound or uh, one big cable like you saw with the uh, power. Anyway these are all uh, part of the same uh, unit. So basically you just got to paint it all. Uh, you, you can see here you have an adhesive side. Literally it's an adhesive strip that peels off and it is super adhesive. So whenever you take that off, um, make sure that you're lining it up before you put it on there because then you're going to start tearing paint off. It is like almost like super glue on it. So make sure whenever you're about to touch the wall that it's where it's supposed to be. And then same thing with this one, you just paint the right side. Uh, a couple of uh, coats of paint of the same color, or you could do another color if you wanted to get funky. And that is how you do a simple, well-mounted entertainment stand. And since we've done it, it has really uh, made our movie watching a ton times better. A ton times, yes, it is a ton times better. And uh, has really helped open up our environment so that our kids can run around unencumbered. So uh, I hope you guys appreciate and enjoy this video and I hope it helps.